Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, tonight's presentation I have present is a a tube buffer amplifier, which you can see uh, is this top box right here where my finger is pointing to. It features a the Chinese version of um, of the 55672. It's actually a 6N3 tube, which is very rare and hard to find. It's, it does it, all it does is just basically gives uh, the preamp gain on the input channel or the inputs of your amplifier which is this receiver here at the bottom all it does is just rounds out the sound makes it a little bit clearer a little smoother a little bit more airy almost or at the same quality as the 12XA7 tubes which let me give you a little demonstration of what this amp sounds like with this buffer amp. Let's switch to the radio function and let's give it a test. Okay, these speakers here are a KLH Model 6. These are the earlier versions with the epoxy woofers and I actually cut the the fabric cloth off just to see what the woofers look like and to my confirmation these are the epoxy ones which is going to be difficult to uh, if anything to replace oh well I'll get to it at some other point but I just want to do a little quick video of what this amplifier does so let me just turn it back up a little bit so you guys can hear it well, I can't really crank this system up too loud because it's after 10 o'clock, so. This is a local radio station playing in the background. It's my equipment, all my other garbage that you see here. Uh, this is my selector switch for my auxiliary input. This is my speaker amp switch box, which I just muted the sound. And you can switch between two different uh, amplifiers or speakers, however I want to configure it. But I have it set for one set of speakers to be oper operated by two different amps. So right now, I have this select to channel B or the second amp. I'm back to center mute or off. And I'm going back to amp A. Okay, just in case if you're wondering about this uh, buffer amp, this was part of a two amp kit, preamp kit from eBay. What about maybe, I don't know, a year ago? So that's why you see the 6N3 tube where my finger is. The box came from Radio Shack. I know most people don't like Radio Shack for this stuff, but you know, stuff like this is quick. Of course, the uh, potential meters from Radio Shack, the knob, the LED holder, the switches from Radio Shack. Yes, I live pretty much live in Radio Shack. The transformer came from Radio Shack, and this is a. I use a 6.3. 0.6.3 .3 power transformer with center tap. So for this configuration, I only need 12 volts in order to operate this unit. Somehow, the rectification circuit transfers 12 volts into usable plus and minus 30 volts DC current. I don't know how they did it, but I have to post a schematic at some time. But they took a bunch of dials and transistors to amplify the power signal, so. There you go. And it lights up. And I can control the volume of this amp like so. Thanks for watching and have a great night.